Hey guys, we're just going to quickly talk about using your clap motion um, program for your stop motion animation videos. So down here in the bottom corner is your launcher and you're going to go to your launcher and if you haven't used clap motion, you're going to have to click it so it goes up and you can find it down in here, little apps, but you're going to click on clap motion. And what you're going to get is this screen right here that's going to pop up and it says clap motion, your story, just a clap away because this is a clapper. All right. So you're going to click here to continue. Hi. So you're going to get to this point and I want to run through some basic stop motion animation things. Um, one thing that you need to keep in consideration is the fact that your camera is way up here and your camera only points to you on your smart board or on your Chromebook, sorry. And this is a bad thing when we're making movies because you are going to have to angle your camera towards your, your set, okay? So that's going to be a little bit, it's going to be tricky. It might be a little bit difficult. It might get annoying, just a heads up. But so keep in mind that your camera's right up here. Things you need to know about your clap motion. This is the clapper. So you can enable clap or you can disable clap. All this does is it either, it makes the clap so that way you know that each piece has been made. This is your camera picture where you'll take a picture like this one that I just took and it'll show up right in here. And this will be the, your first picture is the very first um, image to your new video. So if you want your first picture to have like the title of your video and all that information on it, just write it on a piece of paper and hold it up really, really close, right? So it says Mrs. Comstock yarn painting on this one. But anyways, so you would just like sit it so that way you know that that's your, your video. That's just something for another class, but things like that. If you decided that you don't like this picture that you started with, you can delete it right down here in this section. It says delete selected frame. Then you can delete it and then you don't have a new one started. Okay. You can play your animation when you are done or if you want to see what it looks like for a different spot. So that's a good thing. And you can insert frames between different spots if you feel like it needed a different piece. Something I want all of you to use when we are working with this program is the onion skinning. So you want you to enable it. When you enable an onion skin, this is what happens. Do you see a ghost? Okay, so this is going to show you how far you should upload each picture or move your objects and your stuff for each one. And then you can play your animation. And if you feel like your animation is too fast, you go right over here to camera settings. It's in the right hand corner. And you see how it says 15 FPS, it's frames per second. You don't want it to be very fast. You want it to be like two or three, not very fast at all. And then you hit this little check mark, it says save. And then you can try your animation again. It's me slowly talking to you. All right, so things like that. If you decide you do not want this animation, you can delete it and it's all gone. If you decide you want this animation, you hit the save button and it stays forever. It also makes a copy of it. It's not bad to have a copy of your stuff. So I know you're seeing an onion skin right now, but this is the video of my little pen moving across my screen. And we did make that in class. So very good stuff. What I would like to do for you guys right now is I'm going to make a new one. So I just click new. So I, it hasn't started saving anything yet because I am here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my computer. I'm on this little rolly cart to look at my little set that I have right now. Okay. Remember how I told you guys like you should make your little people so that way they stand up? I I tape this guy to an eraser. 
All right. This is my Van Gogh. He might get taped to something else. Things you should know about your set. You should line everything up before you start making your video because you don't want any movement on your set. You just want your people to move. Now, if you have all this extra space right here, that's something we definitely don't want. We don't want extra space or extra lighting. So you can go, you can go and you can find some cardboard or some books or something to put on the sides of it. Or you could have some paper and you can draw out a background that will go along with whatever you're doing a little bit better. This might be too big. Let's see. So if I was going to use this to be my background, I've already like created this space and I would add my little Van Gogh over here. I would add an image around the side of it so that way it's just a continuous and you don't have this weird random blank space, okay? So definitely do something like that. Create extra space. Now I'm going to move this out of the way so I can show you some more things. Um, so just for the time being, I'm going to use a piece of cardboard for each little area just so that you get the idea that this is what I have. And you know, like the good thing about this is that you have those oil pastels that we used in your Starry Night image. You can use oil pastels to create, you know, your colors in your set. Okay. Now, just want to go over one more thing. Okay, so as far as our set goes, I had to stop so I could get some little stilts on my people. So my people have little stilts on the backs of them. So that way they'll stand up. This is what I was talking about with class. Make sure your people have stilts on them so they stand up. Here's my, here's my Dwight from the office. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get him to stand up now. So what's going to happen in my video is that Dwight's going to come over and bother Van Gogh, who's painting, and Darth Vader is going to come in. Sounds like some kind of crazy war with somebody. I just got to touch him up a little bit. There we go. He stands. All right. So if my first picture is going to be a Van Gogh, I'm going to come up here and click this camera. That's my first picture. And then my little Van Gogh, because it's an onion skin, is going to show me that I moved him. And I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to click it again. And notice how I'm making sure that my hand is not in the frame this time. So my little Van Gogh is over here. He's all happy. Well, he's as happy as he's going to be. How's that? Because we're going to talk about Van Gogh. Van Gogh's as happy as he's going to be. So I took another picture. So I got three pictures of Van Gogh going on right now. Now... I'm going to come in going to come in with my crazy little drama that's happening. All right. So I got, whoo, I walked past this too far, too fast. Okay. So I got I've got the Hulk coming in. He's coming out of behind the tree. So I'm going to take another picture. So now I have the Hulk. Now he's in my pictures. And if I want, I can take two pictures of him so I have two of the same. And then he's coming around the side of the tree. You notice how I'm using that onion skin? And I'm just moving him just a little bit. And I'm making sure that my hand is completely out of the frame before I take my picture. And he's coming after Van Gogh. Van Gogh's just standing in there, staring at him like, are you kidding? So you see how the Hulk is coming, coming to get Van Gogh. 
And just as he gets close enough, do you know what's going to happen? No one knows, right? So now we have Darth Vader. He's going to come in. He's going to come in right there. And my hands are still sort of out of the picture. And he's going to float in. This is where it gets kind of tricky because you don't want your hand in the picture. So he might have to float in a little faster. And I'm going to hook him right to my hill. Okay, so he's on the hill. Now he's going to come down. Like he's hopping down the hills. He's coming across the landscape. It's kind of hard. Sometimes you need to take extra things like tape and hook your little people down. So I'm going to take a little piece of tape and I'm going to hook it to this little stilt that's holding him up. So that way he comes across the landscape. Okay, so that's how I'm getting my Darth Vader to hop down. Now what's going to happen is Van Gogh's going to run. And he's holding up Darth Vader at the same time. So this is going to be a big mess. Oh no, my set moved. We talked about the set's not moving, right? Don't move your set. So Van Gogh's going to run. Darth Vader's going to come down. Don't know why Darth Vader's helping anybody. Because we all know how Darth Vader is. And Van Gogh's leaving. He's like, oh my word. Okay, so he's gone. Now my Darth Vader is going to slowly turn. So he's going to be like, he's going to be like, yo, you bothering my friend? I feel like Callan right now. Tell him a story. And then he turns and he faces him. And they're going to fight. Oh my goodness. So Hulk is coming. Remember, you got to move him a little bit at a time. This is what takes so long on these. And he's like, bam. And then Darth Vader jumps backwards. And he swings his saber. His lightsaber. He's coming back. He's like, I oh, will get you. And he goes, stop. And Hulk falls over. Somehow, Hulk falls over. Oh, my word, Hulk falls over. Then he gets up. We're going to make Hulk, or Darth Vader stare at him. And Hulk's going to turn. Like, oh my goodness, that zappy thing hurts so much. Okay, and then he's going to start running. And he's running. He's like, I don't like this. And then Darth Vader's going to chase him. This is the fun part where you get to make two, you have to move two things instead of one to make a move. Oh no. Totally forgot about this piece. And those of you who are watching at home are laughing now, right? Okay. So then he comes. We're all slowly getting off the screen. Darth, okay, Hulk is officially off. Oh, no, he's not. It's close. Darth Vader's chasing him. Giving way. The game's afoot. When each little piece, you gotta, okay, so then those guys are gone, right? And then old Van Gogh here is going to come back in. Let's see, where are we? Van Gogh's coming back. If I can get him to stand up. Sometimes you have things that are like slowly falling and you just have to, have to make it work. And then maybe he's going to turn. Oh no, he's falling again. No, Van Gogh.
I don't know. I can't get Dwight to stand up. He might not be in this movie. Difficultness. Nope, he's not happening. But anyways, so that would be our movie. So now I can officially go back in and we can play the movie and see how it looks. Okay, so things that are going on in this. It's playing too fast. So we're going to go to camera settings. This is probably something you should check beforehand. But we want it way down here. Down in this area. We want to save it. Now we're going to play this movie. It's going to be awesome. Okay, one thing we're missing that I'm sure that you guys haven't picked up on yet is our little credits piece. You have to have a piece that tells you or tells everybody who made it, like made by so-and-so. So in order to do your credit piece, you got to figure out how creative you're going to get for this. Um, I'm going to make a quick cardboard little flag over here. And I'm going to have the Hulk go back through and have my name on it. So that way you guys can say, oh, Mrs. Comstock made this crazy one too. So now that Van Gogh's just standing there, I'm going to have my Hulk come back through. And it needs to say, created by. Created by. Mrs. Comstock. Isn't that fun when you get to write your own name on stuff? And I am going to tape this onto my Hulk. Like on the back of him. Because that's where his stilt is. And that's the only thing that this tape is going to stick to. It's not going to stick to him because he's all paint and glue. Sometimes we need to like fidget with these too just to get them to work. I might need one more piece of tape. I'm sorry this is taking so long. But I just wanted to show you. Like this is, this is how it goes, guys. It takes a little bit. Okay. So now I'll put my little wall back in and I'm going to scroll my little piece to this frame. Do this frame. Come on here. Okay, so you click on the last frame, and then you can add another piece. So that's where that onion skin is going to come in handy. So now my very last one oh, it's up too high. So what happens when you make a mistake? You know what happens? We go over to the trash can. Let's, uh, let's scroll it so Mrs. Comstock can see. So this is the issue with the delete the frame that we just made. Okay, we don't want that one. We want, we want it to line up. Okay, so now I'm going to take another picture right here. And then I'm going to slowly have my little Hulk come back through the screen. Gonna back up a little bit. Oops.
there. And that's the whole video. And if you decide that you want to watch it all over again, you just hit play and you get to watch the whole thing. Easy cheesy. It's nothing difficult. It's just a matter of building your set and getting your little characters all put together and then making it happen. And Van Gogh's basically showing you that his life is crazy, full of craziness. All right, guys. Hope this helped you.